tell us about, I don't know, what are, you, what are the biggest plans, what are the, what are you hoping to accomplish the most out of the second year? Um, for, for Bad Days, the show, I, uh, I guess more different superheroes, uh, branch out perhaps to maybe video games, do other stuff as well. Uh, mostly we have to see when we're going to do the next season and what, you know, what movies come out yeah. to play like that. I, I'm guessing Thor. Uh, yeah. The big, the big comic book movies, but we're also looking at small things like the season two we did, uh, Thanos, uh, no more. And I, I'd also like to, to switch it around, have a smaller character and then a big one. Uh, excuse me, just really quick, um, can you guys announce where you're from, like, your name and who you're with before oh, you? Yeah. Or something more quick. I'm close to the street, right? Scott, Tish, Oh, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we're, we're trying to write and, and catch his audio on this, and we're hearing laughter. And I don't mind. I mean, it's just. It's you mean just if we could just move to one of the other tapes? I think. That was quite. I mean, no, we. I mean, the way you did it. Yeah. Not a problem. Sorry, hi. <laughs> I am so sorry, just because, you know, listening to, uh, to everything, I just can't help it. Uh, being a journalist, you know, everything has to be, you know, be nice to have, like, an corner so we can hear you better. And then the questions can get a little bit more, you know, hearable, whatever. Anyway, um, my name's Fabian Rodriguez, of Channel 4 News. And um, my camera didn't show up. So. <laughs> Actually, there's a blackout at OC in San Diego. Uh, so, if you plan to go there, you might have problems with electricity. Okay. Yeah. Just a heads up. You can Google it if you want. <laughs> but anyway, that's. Uh, uh, so, questions, or you want to go around the table? Uh, first? This is the first time I'm doing this, so doing I this? don't really have any idea how to do this. You did this before? No, I haven't. So. Okay, well. Welcome to the, <laughs> <laughs> to the press section of Comic-Con. <laughs> Can we get both your names just officially and make sure we're on it? Yeah, so my name is Sony Blusov and I'm doing cosplay piano. Uh, I'm Junette Shunikar and I'm uh, doing Bad Days. Yep. Cool. And I think you were next, sir? Oh, I'm Scott, I'm just with her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one question that we like to ask uh, the folks that we interview is, what does a geek mean to you and what are you guys most geeky over? You go first. <laughs> it's just getting excited about about yeah. new films, new comics, just stuff we coming out, lot. and just <laughs> it, it probably how we we're, we're we're both creative people, so we try to you know show our appreciation for what we're excited about through our work. So that's correct. That's, I think that's a really good answer. I need. Yeah, I would say the same thing. It's just, I love what I'm doing because I'm able to do billions of projects and I'm excited about that and every time it's something different and I love that. Yeah. So I guess that is. Yeah. The first year was very successful. Okay, in the second year, do you have anything different that you want to do that maybe the first year, I know it's hard, it's like... Uh, Child is born, you don't know what you're gonna do. Then the second year, you know, you could just throw them on the street. Mm -hmm. um, second year, you planning anything uh, different um, in terms of the first year? Um, we're thinking about branching out a bit more, different, different, uh, perhaps video games. Just, uh, but it all depends on when we're starting. But yeah. We're, we're trying not to just tie ourselves to uh, superheroes. Uh, it will be the basic, the most of the episodes will be superheroes, but uh, we, we'd like to have sometimes a little special episode here and there. Uh, like season two we had like Walking Dead, Star Trek and Turtles. And those three were the special episodes, not Marvel. Most of the stuff we do is Marvel or DC related. And I'd like to branch out a bit more, uh, just try different things. <laughs> there, was, um, there was one um, on the LA Emmys, they were nominated the uh, first time in history uh, on the internet, so to speak. Do you, do you plan any longer stories from different characters, from different 
it was like a, a hero that just became a hero as opposed to uh, one of the you know villains that we normally you know. Yeah, yeah. We're working on something working on original. That? Yeah, yeah. You can't tell us why. I probably can't tell anything about it, no. But uh, yeah, we're working on something original, have an original uh, backstory, everything. That's indeed what we're working on. Yeah, I'd love to do it. Yeah. And what about a, let's talk a bit about cosplay piano, because even the name alone is great. Um, uh, it actually reminds me of uh, yesterday, I went upstairs and there was a guy dressed up playing piano. So, um, but uh, for those who aren't familiar, give us a little bit more insight on that and how unique it is in, to the channel and just in general. Okay, it is very unique. <laughs> it is very unique. So, what I'm actually doing, so I'm a film composer and a pianist, so I'm very busy doing both. I'm doing a lot of film scores, I'm working like on a lot of animation by the way, and I have just premiered my ballet a couple of months ago, so this is a composer side. From like performance side, I'm doing a lot of session work in LA, I'm doing a lot of performances, and then so I met with Tom, who is the director of Cosplay Piano, and Tom had the idea to create this project where like a world class pianist would perform her arrangements of like famous TV video games theme. So that's how we met. And we started this project and that's been a lot of fun for me because basically it combines both sides of me. So I get to create this original arrangements of the music that I really love and then I perform this stuff. So it's a lot of fun. So so far we've done four arrangements. We did Walking Dead, which was the arrangement for violin and piano. Uh, we did Batman, Danny Elfman score, we did Superman, and last one was Game of Thrones. So this is for so far, we recorded a couple of more, so we're hoping to do the videos for them soon. And yeah, the plan is we're just, yeah, we're gonna have way more of them, we're doing, we're gonna be doing more of the live performances, because that's what I'm doing, that's what I would love to do. Yeah, so we have like long-term going plans, and that's a lot of fun. Uh, hey guys, one more question before we have to go. So I'm here from the Organization for Transformative Work, so we focus on fan creativity and in all the, it's different, all the different facets, which is definitely some of what you all are doing. Have you all had any legal issues or problems from the, you know, I guess it's a little bit different now, but you know, when things were first starting out from like any of the people who you were spoofing or parodying or covering, etc., etc. Uh, the first uh, animatic I sent in uh, after we signed the deal for season one, uh, I got back this whole list of you can do this, you can do this, you can do this. Uh, <laughs> but after that, not so much. It's, it's, um, I now know where I have to look out for and. and has it impacted your creative vision? No, no. I, in fact, I think restrictions uh, let you think creatively how to, uh, yeah, how to do things in a different way. It, I think it helps uh, to have restrictions. For us, I'm like a completely creative person, so I'm not really dealing with any legal aspect. For that I have Tom, who's a producer and director, and we have a bunch of lawyers in World of Heroes, I think we have like five people or something. So whenever we want to create an arrangement, we usually give them like the least of possible things that we want to do. And then this goes through lawyers, and then they just reach the right people in the studios, and then we get like yes, 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 no, and yeah, and then we choose from there. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.